hey, how are you guys are doing? Is you guys doing? Because today is Tuesday. Um, this vlog is going to be a little short because I'm actually tacking on how to make freaky edamame, which is how Jody kind of taught me. Um, I'm going to go to the gym and hopefully, 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 like really, really, seriously, seriously, hopefully, um, be able to uh, kind of work out this kink in my back. Um, I'm hurting. I'm hurting a lot last night. I'm hurting a lot today. I took my medicine uh, probably like an hour ago and it just makes me itchy and makes my nose itchy and just I don't feel good. Um, yeah. So I am going to go to the gym today. I'm excited about that at least. And then I have therapy tonight. Thank God for therapy. Um, I may start brain painting again this week. <clears throat> just to help me um, because I'm not dealing with things well. I got on the scale today. It said 320. That means in the last couple of weeks I've gained 15 pounds. Uh, I'm sure some of it's water, but some being the key and operative word, some of it's popcorn, some of it's uh, ice cream, some of it's shit I shouldn't be eating, some of it's legitimately stuff I shouldn't be eating and I'm angry and I'm sad I'm very very sad about it um I want nothing more than to make myself proud and get back to what I need to be doing um but it's hard and yesterday I did good today I'm gonna do well I'm drinking my water I upped my water um I upped my protein I cut all the carbs I possibly could, I'm not having any bread, I'm not having nothing. So hopefully, um, you know, this this was enough to get my ass in gear. We'll see. All right, guys, I just wanted to come on here and say that I love your faces. I hope you like my recipe for uh, freaky edamame or just, you know, sauteed edamame with garlic, garlicky edamame, I don't know what you want to call it. Um, and I will talk to you guys very, 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 very soon. Mwah. So I'm going to be making my edamame and I get so many people who ask me how I do it. I thought this would kind of be the easiest way. Um, so as you can see, I have a wok. You could use a pan. I use grapeseed oil. You could use avocado or whatever kind of oil you want. This is a really high heat time so it doesn't smoke. Um, and it's full of lots of vitamin E and other good stuff for you so I like to use this one and it's very neutral so that means you don't really have to worry about a lot of um, taste like you know coconut oil kind of tastes like coconut etc etc so the next step would be frozen bag of edamame pods so I get them in the pod I've tried making them without the pods no bueno I didn't like it. I used the entire package. It says to keep frozen. I'm going to open that up. Okay, and then you just dump them in there. Then I'm just coating them all in the oil. See, I'm just going to coat them all in the oil. I'm going to end up putting about, I'm going to say, oh, maybe a fourth of a cup of water in the bottom of this just to help it steam them. You could put a top on. I usually don't. Um, you're going to need garlic. I'm going to use one and a half of these. I chopped them up. You can either do it in a food processor. You can do it by hand. Um, these are whole cloves. I'm going to use one and a half of these because this has a lot of garlic in it when I use it. And then I use a lot of salt because remember, you're salting the outside. Um, that's where you're going to get your flavor. So I use pink Himalayan sea salt from Costco. And then the last ingredient I use, which is this uh, Shiroshima pepper mix. 
It's got like nori, sesame seeds. Um, Jody gave this to me. Like I said, I'm running out and I need to buy some on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below of exactly what that is and all the ingredients. So I'll see you in a few minutes. So pretty much, um, you're just sauteing them in the oil. And here's about a fourth of a cup of water. I'm just gonna dump that in there. That will help it steam. Um, I'm turning the heat back up. And I'm just gonna sit here for a while and stir them. These are done when the pods are really soft and not totally broken open. That means that they're still intact. That means it's gonna be a lot of trial and error. So my next step is just to use a ridiculous amount of your salt. And it's pretty much just kind of seasoned to taste, you know, like, um, because most of the pod's going to absorb all the salt, uh, uh, all the uh, seasoning you put on it, and you're pretty much just sucking the, um, the pods themselves. You're sucking them to get the, the taste, and then you're eating the beans inside. I love these. They're high in potassium. Um, they're, I think, omega-3s. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Low in saturated fat and cholesterol, 25 grams of protein, may reduce the risk of heart disease, um, 10 grams of protein. So you want to see what it says on the back. So for a half a cup, so there's a cup and a half worth, so three servings, oops, three servings are in this bag three, six, nine grams of fat. Um, there is six carbs per serving. So for this entire bag, there's, hold on. 18 carbs for the entire bag, um, three sugars and 30 grams of protein for the entire bag. So this is fantastic. It's got 10% of your iron, some vitamin C, um, and calcium. Like I said, the high in potassium, I think. High in something. Maybe I'm wrong about potassium. I know it's high in something. Um, negate that part unless I can figure it out, and then I'll tell you. I know it's high in something because people with thyroid conditions have to be careful with it because um, it can mess with your thyroid levels or something. So like I said, I turned the heat back up. Um, I've got the water in the bottom of the pan and I'll put a fourth of a cup. Pretty much you're just wanting to steam these open and I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, actually I used both packages. I am a garlic freak. I love garlic. This is a handy dandy little food chopper. See it's got the little blade inside here and it has this turning kind of thing and without getting burnt, you just twist it like this, and it's chopping up all of the garlic in there. So I'm going to sit here and do that for a few minutes, and then I'll show you. Okay, if you can see, it's all chopped up now, and I'm going to be ready to add it. So we'll just take out the little stabby piece and dump those in there. I use a lot of garlic. I love garlic. I can't get enough for garlic. It's usually never garlicky enough for somebody like me. Um, sometimes my husband will eat this, um, but usually it's just all mine and I get three meals out of it. So this is kind of like my favoriteest thing ever. My husband's in there watching Silicon Valley without me. <laughs> Want to get all that garlic out, girl. So then, as you can see, I'm going to just go ahead and start sauteing. This is pretty much done as soon as all your garlic is sauteed and soft. So, you know, that's completely up to you. And then I'm going to open up this and add the pepper. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. What can I say? And then this is it, guys. Like, this is how simple that was. All you're doing is just making sure that the garlic is done. Um, you want to use a pan that doesn't really stick. Uh, 
Make sure there's enough salt on it. So like as this is finishing cooking, you're gonna wanna taste it. Make sure there's enough pepper for you, enough salt. You can add other stuff. You can use ginger. Um, you could put onions, um, other kind of peppers. You could add more of whatever you want, but this is the way I do it. This is the way I like it. I make this maybe once a week sometimes. Sometimes more than once a week. And one of them popped out. So I'm just going to show you. I have asbestos fingers from cooking most of my life. So look at this. Look. So that's what they look like on the inside. And then you suck all the uh, stuff off the outside of the pod. They're already done. Mmm needs more salt so that's how you taste it some people put um, soy sauce in it I'm not one of those people but you could so that's it guys simple easy yummy um, good for you, nice snack or meal, as I like to use it for as a meal. Um, pretty much you could eat the entire bag if you wanted to. That's a lot of beans, but you could. And then uh, let me know if you tried this. I would love to hear how you guys made it or if you made any, um, if you made anything different with it, if you ate it with something else. Um, I'd love to hear. Alright guys, I love your beautiful, gorgeous, amazing faces. I'll add a picture of what it looks like at the very end of this when it's done before I devour it. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye!